Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a typewriter text effect with a blinking cursor. Let's see the preview. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it Typewriter Text. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 10 seconds. Go to the toolbar, and select the Type tool. Make sure your text alignment is set to the left. Click anywhere on the screen, then type your text. Center the anchor point. Then align your text to the center. Right click on the text layer. Go to effect, then expression controls. And choose the slider control. Rename the slider control to the text. Again right click on the text layer. Then go to effect. This time, I am going to choose the checkbox control. Rename the checkbox control to on and off. Once again right click on the text layer. Then effect. Then expression controls. And choose color control. Go under the text. Select the first expression, and copy it. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and click the source text stopwatch icon to add an expression. Now, paste the first expression here. Nothing is happening, right? Don't worry. Go to one second. Then add a keyframe on the slider. Go forward to 6 seconds. Then change the slider values until you see the text. Looks good to me. But the blinking cursor is missing. So, just click on the checkbox. Let's see the preview. If you want to increase the typewriter speed, then select the text layer, and press the U key on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes, and move the second keyframe to 4 seconds. If you want to change the cursor sign, then go under the text, then under the source. Here you can change the cursor sign to anything you like. Cool. If you want to increase the cursor blinking speed, then change the blink interval from 15 to 5. Let's see the preview. Looks perfect to me. Let's change the cursor color. So click the animate button. Then go to fill color. And choose RGB. Select the second animation, and copy it. Go to range selector 1. Hold the alt key on the keyboard. And click the start stopwatch icon to add an expression. 
then paste the second expression here. Finally, copy the third expression. Hold the Alt key, and click the end stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then paste the third expression here. Go under the advanced. Change the units from percentage to index. Again hold the Alt key on the keyboard. And click the fill stopwatch icon to add an expression. Drag the pick whip to the color control. Let's see what we have created so far. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Let's change the blinking cursor color to any color you like. If you want to erase the text after a few seconds, then follow the next step. Select the text layer. And press U to reveal all keyframes. Go forward to 6 seconds. Then add a keyframe. Go to the last frame. And change the slider value back to 0. Let's see the final output. Perfect. You can also apply the same technique on multiple lines. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on right to left text or Arabic text. I hope this was helpful, and that you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.